and there are many vacancies in the missions and he was accepted somewhere. This monk served in several countries but he could not settle anywhere and he kept pressing on. He consulted many charismatic elders and they all advised him the same thing but he kept pressing on. And that's what I mean by pressing on in stubbornness. And the third, and in my view the best possibility, is to press on by faith. The Merbearing women had not left a key at home to unlock the stone, so there was no reason to go home and look for a solution. They could have given up, but instead they pressed on in faith, and their faith was rewarded. The stone was rolled away, and the Greek word means it was rolled completely out of the way. The significance of this is that this large stone could not be moved back by anything less than an army of men. If it had been merely rolled aside, the Roman guards could have quickly rolled it back in its track and replaced the imperial seal, and kept quiet about what had occurred. But the stone was moved out of the way of the tomb, and the guards took off shaking with fear. You see, God's grace goes beyond our expectations. His actions always surpass our expectations. And when the women came into the garden, the stone was rolled away from the tomb, and the tomb was empty and unguarded, except for the angel who spoke to them. I'm sure we all stress about the various problems of our lives. However, whatever these problems might be, no matter how difficult they may seem, they should not interrupt our journey towards Christ just as they did not interrupt um, the service of the Burberry women. For the risen Lord, there are no unsolved problems or dead-end questions. Everything is possible for Christ, and he is ready to make it happen when we put our trust in him. Therefore, let us come together with the holy women to Christ's empty grave to meet the angel and hear him telling us, do not be afraid. Let us come with faith, to draw light from the light and joy of his resurrection. And let us permit the light and joy of the resurrection to renew our souls, dispelling the darkness of sin and removing any anxiety that deprives us of Christ's peace. Let us draw light from the eternal light of Christ and let it fill our souls and the world around us and let us beseech the risen Christ to make us all partakers of his resurrection. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death into those who